What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Bluefuss. Well, we're getting into hot tea, hot chocolate, but it's about Bluefuss. Her title is, let's not act like we have amnesia, guys. This guy was willing to leave Stewie and be homeless with his favorite baby mother. Blueface clearly is going to take care of both his baby mamas, but we or he can't help that Krishan is his favorite. During these times, the delivery sucked, but it's the message straight from God to, past, to the pastor. Come on now. I got a whole story for y'all tonight. I don't understand how this woman keeps like trying to make me seem like I didn't try to help her pay her bills prior. I didn't try to help her find a situation. I didn't try to help her plan for this baby. So this is what happened. We all was dying laughing at this point in time because this nigga had went and snuck off to the bathroom and in the closet to get his conversation off. <laughs> like Hello. I told y'all, she been planning to do bad disease. I'm thinking bad disease will happen after the baby's born. She was like, no, they ready to get up. I'm going to do it while I'm pregnant. I said, oh, man, you serious? Wait, something happened on Kai's stream. In different poses in 15 seconds. I got to pose you. Here we go. All right, my fault. He on. He with Kevin. I'm going to go on a <laughs> WWE fight show while you're pregnant. So I try to, you know, chop it up with her. Hey, instead of doing that, how about me and you playing a baby shower? We find a spot. We plan for the baby's birth. You know what she say? I need to get on the road and get to this money and that baby shower. And so she's like, I don't need to do none of that. I'm about to go get it. I said, damn. All right, big dog. So she goes on bad disease, you know. You see how he say like big dog, like if she got home money, that's a threat almost. Like, oh, all right, you got it, playboy. You know what I'm saying? You got a big morning, you know? It ain't even like that. Paying close attention. I'm watching. She's getting treated like a contestant on the show. And it's really making me mad because I'm like, your baby father is a blue face. You're Krishan Rock. Why are you? That's admitting to having, that's admitting to being a baby dad. On the show. Well, like a bunch of, no offense to anybody, but like with a bunch of just, you know, regular people that's trying to brighten their horizon. But whatever, she goes on there. It's not what she thinks. Nobody fights for her like she thought. Nobody does what she says on command. So then she hits my phone. Oh, I'm ready to come home. Pastor Mike told me I should come back and I should try it out with you because he's seen all these tattoos. She said her, she said her pastor told her to come back and do the right thing with me in the past ain't shit. i just want to put that out there but <laughs> um you know this whole time we always thinking blue was a good dude it was just only when um i forgot what i call his alter ego but when that person came in like jonathan is a good dude but blue face he be tripping for real and the still didn't listen she got the word straight from God to the pastor to her. Yo, you should kind of go back and really try harder with Blue, with Blue because you got all these tattoos of him. So it must have been something that led you up to this point. You should see that through. All right, that's what she's telling me. She's telling me, oh, I went to church. He think because she got all these tattoos that she ain't going nowhere. After she beat the white girl. It's a lot more making sense now. I heard her friends beat the white girl. She told me, oh, I went to church and the pastor told me I should come back to you. I said, damn, that's what the pastor said. All right, shout out the pastor. He knows something, right? He knows something. Boom. So that's when she leaves Bad Easy. She comes back. I got a whole family in my house. I told her, look, I will be homeless with you until we find a spot. Crazy. So I leave my house and I stay in the hotel with her. I'm in the hotel with her, right? I'll be homeless with you. That means something. So, boom. This we wasn't listening like that then. Because I'd be homeless with you. It's crazy. This is when I got stabbed. So, I leave her in the hotel room. Hey, I'm going to go to the gym and work out. 
You stay here and chill. It was an early morning workout. She tired. I'm like, just chill. Go to the gym. Get a workout in. Boom, I get stabbed. Hit her. Yo, I just got stabbed. Yeah, I get we stabbed. We had appointments to see places, penthouses. I wanted her to get a penthouse. For her safety. Boom. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, instead of going to get stitched up, going to do anything, I go back to the hotel to make sure we make these appointments to see these penthouses, right? I got a whole gash in my leg. I'm walking, stum- stemming around, looking at these penthouses for her and the baby to have some, you know, something. <laughs> then I got to go to Atlanta to do this master pass. They got some bread for me. I'm, they got some bread for me, so I'm like, all right, Let's go. Take the bitch with me. We get there. It's time for me to go to handle this business. I'm telling her, like, yo, I don't want to bring no pregnant girl to this to this social thing. You know, it's going to affect, you know, my program. She instantly make it about her. Oh, I- He wanted to handle his business, and he hate the fact that she make everything about her. All of this is starting to make uh, more sense still. I'm not cool enough to come with you. I came with you out here. You mean, I need to go with you. What do we win? We argue. Hey, you know me. I'm out of here. I'm, I just told you what I'm going to do. I'm out of here. Why Guess what she video, do? 43 Tit for tat. She leave the room. She at Clark Atlanta University. She over here. She over there. At Little oh, Baby Restaurant. God. I'm like. Y'all remember Little Baby Restaurant? Oh, I'm not mad. <laughs> Fuck it. Rock going to do what she want to do. That's where I got mad at. Later that night around 12 a.m., we supposed to meet up. I end up going to this restaurant with everybody from the little. She hit me talking about she got some food for me. So I don't order food at the restaurant. I'm like, my bitch got some food for me. Which is crazy because I would have. She pull up. She pull up. I'm like, where the food at? I'm hangry at this point. She said, oh, I threw it out. It was nasty. Huh? So I don't get to try the food? Like, you just don't. I've been sitting at this restaurant all night waiting for you, thinking you got some food for me. And you get here and you tell them you threw the food away because it was nasty. So I'm instantly heated. Like, that's so selfish. Boom. We get back to the room. I need to smoke. Where, I would have cussed out. The weed where the backwoods. Oh, I smoked all the backwoods. I don't know where to do. We don't have. You don't got no food. You don't got no backwoods. All the shit that he could have got himself. Y'all, the other day, so we sitting out. We outside somewhere. We sitting down in this <laughs> This girl was like, the nigga won't eat if I'm not there. <laughs> and it was so funny because some dudes are really like that. Nah, my girl got my girl got a plate. I would have had two plates. I'm going to just go ahead and get this one. All right. I'm going to eat it. You got that when I get to the crib. I'm going to eat it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's something I really wanted. Because shit just be happening. You know? So now you just sitting there just assed out hungry ain't got no food crazy when you was just at a restaurant now you mad at her we just do the damnest things you're oh my god i'm mad i'm bleeding a bit. go get me some backwards right now the leader room act like she finna go get me some backwards and never comes back i'm texting her worry like damn you okay is everything all right she missed it mind you we got an appointment to see a house at 12 p.m. The flight is at 5 a.m. She didn't like none of the penthouses, so I upped it. I said, all right, you don't want to be in a penthouse because you feel like it's giving apartment vibes. So, right, penthouse is penthouse. Apartment is an apartment, Krishan. It's totally different. Let's go get a rent a house out. She missed the flight. I get on the flight at 5 a.m. by myself. I haven't heard from her. Then the next day, she had a little baby restaurant leaving taste test reviews. I'm like, this is what you're doing? Like, you just missed? Okay. From that day forward, I texted my financial advisor, my real estate agent, Jason Lee and his party promoter. I said, cancel the house, cancel the baby shower. I'm done with her. Her priorities is f- wow. 23. 23. 23. 23. I ain't got a cap because I'm a really and that penthouse was fire. I'm like, Krishan, are you crazy? 
Nah, nigga, I want a house like him. Like, why? <laughs> like, what do we have to do that like him for? Get that penthouse. Tripping. I was so hey, aggravated by her in that penthouse. Say it, get to it. That penthouse is nice. See the whole city. What you mean? Oh, but also I yeah. forgot. Okay, oh, uh, let me not forget. The rules was she can't have no nigga in the crib. I forgot about that. You hide it. I got a whole story for y'all tonight. I forgot the whole um she can have no niggas in the house. I absolutely forgot about that part. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, man. I just wish he get the hell out. <laughs> Let's go back to having fun again. It ain't even got to be drama. He's funny without drama, to be honest with you. And I think he is a good guy. He just has controlling ways. It's real bad, but controlling ways. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.